Hi everyone, it's a Ticket to Christ. Thank you for tuning back in. Um, this is the last in our series of um, overcoming negative emotions and we're in Psalm 27. Um, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies, mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. And now shall, my, shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me and answer me. When thou sayest, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been, been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage. He shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Amen. So this is a really uh, very encouraging psalm, Psalm 27. And if you're feeling overwhelmed, maybe, a, you know, a bunch of different emotions coming at you at once, uh, maybe different scenarios that um, arise Maybe you're facing people who don't have goodwill toward you, uh, or maybe you're dealing with people who are emotionally difficult or unstable, and that can leave you feeling conflicted or beaten up or you know guilty or powerless or uh, traumatized um, because maybe you want to help you can't help or maybe you're being misunderstood or things are being twisted or seen in, in a different light than you intended um or you know sometimes it can come from um boundaries being crossed you know people trying to control you or you feel like somebody's kind of suffocating you or s trying to control or snuff the daylights out of you. A lot of these things can happen in the workplace. If you have somebody who is um, narcissistic that you have to work with, and that person is in some way in the senior role, and they're uh, manipulative and subtle with it, they can move in subtle ways that could make your work day really challenging. So this is a good one in any scenario whereby you're dealing with people. And notice in the start, what does he say? He says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. What do you use the light for? You use it to see and my salvation. So also the Lord saves him. So because God is his light, and this is a Psalm of King David, because the Lord is his light and salvation, who, he says, whom shall I fear? Uh, you know, look at who is taking care of me. And this is a good scripture to bring to mind when you're going through these types of challenges. And this scripture really helps me 
in uh, emotional challenges and difficulty, whereby I feel like I feel like entangled in sort of like a, a ball of twine. And you're like, how did I get entangled in this twine of emotional haywire? And how do I entangle myself so I can be at peace? You know, and uh, it talks about that when the wicked, even my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh. Now, uh, what does he mean by eat up my flesh? When I think of eating up flesh, I think of people who um, are controlling or manipulative or they try to destroy you, right? Um, or try to, you know, it definitely is not a good um, analogy here, eat up my flesh, you know, that it's definite, whatever they're doing, it's not a good thing. And it says here, they stumbled and fell, you know, because what? Because the Lord is his light, because the Lord is his salvation. And notice he says, even if a host should encamp against me, he's not going to be afraid. He's not giving way to fear and he's not giving way to negative emotions. You see him here just strong in faith even if a war is rising against him he's going to be confident so he doesn't care who comes against him who they are you know his focus is on the lord this is the pattern desiring his and then notice where his hope is so a lot of times when we're in emotional conflict our hope is tied to a specific type of outcome or we're valuing these situations, um, you know, in a way whereby it, it can uh, take your peace. But notice his desire and hope is the Lord, that he will dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of his life. This is what he's hoping for. This is his end goal, to, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of his life. So his perspective is very different than say, um, if he had a perspective, okay, my end goal is for everybody to be okay with me, okay with my reactions, okay to my with my responses, I'm not misunderstood. Um, and with David, he was running for his life from King Saul, who felt threatened by him, who knew that David was going to be his replacement, and he was doing everything to take David out. So David was running for his life. So, and then, you know, surrounded by betrayers, you know, people who, who can you trust, who can't you trust? And, and a lot of times, maybe people, when they have that type of promise from God for something great, um, the temptation might have been to put their hope and faith in that promise of them being great. But David didn't do that. His hope was in um, being able to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of his life. That was where his heart was. And because his heart was there, um, he rested securely in the Lord, you know, believing. This is what he believed, that God would hide him in his pavilion, in the secret tabernacle, setting him upon a rock, lifting his head up above his enemies. That's what he believed. And when you're going through times of emotional challenges and struggle and difficulty, that, that's where to set your belief. You know, notice he um, cried out to God for mercy. He sought the face of the Lord. And this is his prayer. Verses 7 to 9 is a good prayer to pray when you're going through this time. He said, uh, you know, he's, he's, he cried out to the Lord and he's saying, um, seek my face. Um, oh God, my heart said to thee, thy face, Lord, will I seek, right? When, when, no, when God told him, seek my face, his heart respond was, I will seek your face. A lot of times when we're going through tough times, the thought comes to you, why don't you take time out to pray? Why don't you take time out to sing to God or to read a scripture? That's what he's talking about here. When the Lord said, seek my face in your in your difficulty his heart responded i will do exactly that and so we have a pattern here of how to react and how to respond you know and how he prayed notice the level of which um he felt forsaken even his father and mother even those who were closest to him um for you know were not there um in his moment of need in his challenge 
And um, just really his prayer here is to the Lord to, that he wants to learn God's ways. He wants to be delivered um, from his enemies. And he asks for that. You know, it's just an encouraging passage. And then he ends up with wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he will strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say on the Lord. So this is a really encouraging passage to study out if you're going through emotional difficulty and emotional challenges and to really pick it apart. There's even a song um, I came across about this. It's in Hebrew by a singer. Her name is Christine Jackman. And I wanted to play a couple of, 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 the, of a little bit of it uh, with the hope it can really encourage someone. And you can find it um, on YouTube. <laughs> I hope you have a great day, beloved, and we'll be starting another series soon. God bless you. Take care.